Hey y'all, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Today I'm doing a follow-up looking for smartwatches for kids and what's the best. You may remember I recently played with the Curio watch and while I liked it, the screen wasn't very user-friendly, at least for fat fingers like mine. So I found the Kitty Zoom smartwatch. This one I got in purple instead of black like the Curio, but this one had really good reviews from kids and parents alike. And it's also got that kind of sleek look. It looks like a kid's watch, but it's not so bad that it looks like, oh, mom, I got a kid's watch, you know. So let's see how we get into this. Pieces of tape all along the box here. I don't understand. Okay, let me see. I don't want to destroy the box. It's like taped everywhere. Come on, come on. Open up. Open up. You know you want to. Okay. okay. Holy Toledo. Really, I'm just going to have to pry this off, aren't I? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I thought the bottom would like unfold or something. Looks like you have to literally pry this off. What in the actual factual here? Okay, okay. Almost. <laughs> it's taking a lot more muscle than I would anticipate for an electronic device. Oh man. Come on. I'm making progress, I swear. Oh, my gravy. Finally. That was quite the ordeal. Okay. So that is the Kitty Zoom watch. It says slide the master power switch to on position, fully charge the battery before you use. So I'm going to have to charge this before we get to play. And the charger is in this little bag here, USB. I will be back. So I have my VTEC Kitty Zoom watch. It's been charging for about two hours. It is on. And now wants me to set the date. So we're gonna say it is. And I don't know what time it is, so we're going to say 8 a.m. So this is your home screen. Oh, you get to choose different faces for your watch. Okay, so we have our home screen. We've got the camera, video camera, microphone, picture playback, games. Fitness, it looks like. Reminders. 
Okay, so you've got voice recording is what that microphone is. Camera. Whoa. So the camera is on the top here. This is the camera. That's why while I'm talking to you guys, you're getting a nice upward look through my nose. <laughs> um, so that's the camera. Let's see, what is the fitness? So you run, I run, racing run. Let's run. Oh, so it tracks when you're running. Well, that was cool. So I just kind of shook it like I was running in it. I'm a chicken, apparently. That's how I run. Um, let's see. Let's go back to... So there's a jumping game in that same app, dancing, there's running again, jump, okay so that's all those. Now the sneaker is a pedometer, that is really cool, so you've got kind of like a Fitbit element to this. What is Monster Identity. Place your finger. Not detected. That's what kind of monster I am, depending on my thumbprint. Um, funny face detector, sound shaker. There's a lot going on here. Calculator, calendar, downloads, and settings. Obviously, reminders, timers, clocks. That's how you change your time, apparently. Alarm clock. And that is everything on the Kitty Zoom. The band is nice and soft and expandable. I haven't put it on me, but there was plenty of room here to spare. Of course, I have no problem fitting into a kid's watch. It's actually my preferred watch because I have to take three and four links out of women's watches. So this is nice and soft. I don't see any problem with wearing it. And I felt like I did okay with um, the touch screen and everything. There was no texting that I noticed on this one. That's just a date, so. So yeah, it's it's basic, but it's got that same kind of like Fitbit feel to it. It looks very sharp. It's a pretty cool kid smartwatch. I would say this one, it was better than the Curio. Well guys, I think this one is my favorite kids smartwatch to date. The Kitty Zoom smartwatch is very well done. I love the band, it's very comfortable. I love that a lot of the apps in courage activity there's a pedometer so you're getting the best of both worlds with a smart watch and fitness tracker this one does a really good job unlike the curio i felt like the uh, touch screen was really good and it wasn't fat fingering it the whole time you know like my fingers are too big and i can't hit what i want um, my only beef with it is the camera placement being at the top it makes taking pictures very awkward you almost have to take it off 
Um, I would have liked to have seen it kind of forward facing like a phone or something, but I guess it's one little thing to be kind of, you know, kind of curious about, I guess. Um, and it's not really a hassle. It's not a big deal. So I give this one two thumbs up. This one definitely beats the curio in my book just because of ease of use. So guys, I'm going to be keeping up on all the new kids tech and top trending toys in 2017. And if you want to do that as well, you have to hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up to, for today's video. Keep checking us out at toynos.com where I'm keeping lists of the top trending 2017 toys as well as more reviews and more playtimes. But until next time, bye!